Mike McWilliams upstairs to the ride music. Here we are for volume four, that's episode four of Sweet Deals on Reverb. Thank you for joining us. Now, as you know, uh, the concept of this uh, particular segment of the Upstairs to the Ride Music channel is to go through Reverb and to take a look at some of the most outrageous things that you can find for sale on there. Trust me, it doesn't take much scanning <laughs> for very long to find some really, really weird stuff that people put up for sale. So in the first part of this segment, we always start out with the Knob Squad. Knob Squad. Uh, for those of you who are new here, the Knob Squad is a group of individuals who consistently, every week, are trying to sell you partial packages of, of Gibson knobs. I don't know why it's always Gibson knobs. It's either, you know, one knob or two knobs or it's never ever four knobs. Although this week I did find a deal on four. So first up we have here one lightly used Gibson toe knob, uh, guitar not included, uh, of three knobs not included. <laughs> For the low, low price of $7.99 plus $17.75 shipping. Oh, hell no, man. Again, why somebody would want to go on Reverb to buy one tone knob for $7.99 plus $17.75 shipping. You know, that is some serious drunk shopping. I mean, we all have done drunk shopping before. You know, you hit a couple of tequilas and you go on, you know, eBay or Reverb and you wind up the next morning with stuff like this. One lightly used Gibson knob. <laughs> I guess. Actually, I've never done that, but I can imagine how it could happen. Uh, anyway, let's move on. So here we have our first full pack of genuine Gibson knobs. Uh, here they want $24.99 plus $17.75 shipping. Or you can get the half pack special for $11.99 plus $7.75 shipping. Now, in the case of the full pack, if you do the math on that, you're looking at $10.68 per knob. If you do the half pack special, you're looking at oh, around $7.45. As I've pointed out to you time and time again before, you can go on Sweetwater and get a full pack for $19.99 or just $4.99 per knob. Free shipping, free tech support, a two-year warranty, and help from this young lady right here, which will tell you anything you want to know, especially probably starting with don't be a dumbass and buy one knob, you know, buy your knobs off reverb from these guys. The next one up is the Chat Lombard Coca Quantas 2. Now, the little byline underneath here, you can see it says, If you know, you know. Man, this is some bullshit! Well, frankly, I didn't know. So I looked it up. And this is the information that I found on this particular whatever the hell it is. The face of the instrument is an esoteric Washington, D.C. spell consisting of two obelisks and one pentagram in the middle. The quantity in the middle, of course the quantity is, is in the middle, I mean where else would you want your quantity, um, <laughs> can demonstrate serious chaos. Yes, I can say it's been my experience in life that quantity usually does lead to chaos. <laughs> It reminds me of... Introducing the Tiddy Bear. That's T-I-D-D-Y Bear. The cute little guy that eliminates all those irritating shoulder strap problems. My shoulder strap used to pull so tight I could hardly breathe. Now with the Tiddy Bear, I really enjoy traveling again. <laughs> For the low, low asking price of $1,224.51 plus $28.81 for the shipping. Uh, that 12 24 51 is always a dead giveaway. Why they just don't round up and make it 12 25 It should be a tip in your mind that they're trying to, I, I, I don't know what they're trying to do. I never understood the pricing on some of this stuff, especially the Shiat Lombard Coca Quantas 2. Uh, you really gotta be nuts if you buy this thing. 
Uh, especially this esoteric spell casting thing that it does. Girl, you see where I'm coming from, you jive motherfucker! Next up is the dirtiest pedal. Frankly, this is the dirtiest pedal board I've ever seen anybody put up for sale on Reverb. I zoomed in on the picture here so that you can get a flavor for how dirty this thing was. And they want $29.99 plus free shipping on it. Uh, but, and I think that it would go great with that PV amp that uh, we talked about a couple of episodes before. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that I would have to say something like this, but obviously I do. If you put a picture for something up for sale on Reverb, do take the time to clean it. A little soap and water, or if it's something like that, you know, a, 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 a semi, you know, damp rag. But sham wow, you'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. <laughs> Will go wonders and improve your chances of selling something. This man is like pig pens, you know. <laughs> this is pig pen level stuff. Pig pens pedal board, say that ten times. <laughs> Okay, uh, next we have a Request Multimedia Audio Remote Control. They want $19.99 plus $100 shipping. Why? Why, why is this on Reverb? <laughs> okay. Why is somebody selling a remote, an audio remote on Reverb? for 20 bucks plus a hundred dollars for 120 bucks and who do they think is going to buy this you know really seriously uh you guys need help you really need help uh, you need help okay um for you vintage heads out there we have this 1970s telephone with stutter effect color is bat phone emergency red Now, in my opinion, this is still not as cool of an audio device as a Mr. Microphone. Broadcast over any FM car radio. Hey, good looking. We'll be back to pick you up later. But I suppose from, you know, a standpoint of, I, I again, I, you know, I got blasted on the last show because the, the, the talk box thing or the, the, math, the math and speak thing. And somebody said, hey, man, you know, you obviously don't understand, uh, you know, techno music. Shut up. Shut your ugly old time ancient ass up. Or whatever the hell it was, you know. And obviously, I guess this would be something that you would use for that. Although, why and how? <laughs> it's, I have no answer. If you just want to have a vintage phone... I just can't see spending the kind of money that they want for this thing. This is, this is uh, outrageous, you know. Pretty funny stuff. Sweet deal on Reverb. You know, I always like to end uh, with a vintage catalog for you Case Candy Crew guys. Uh, and uh, this one, I've got a doozy for you. This is a 1962 Gibson SG Standard Catalog for the bargain bargain basement price of five hundred dollars plus twenty dollars shipping. I'll give you five. Uh, he autographed it himself. I'll give you four. <laughs> Chance stuff. You know, um, <laughs> again, you know, folks, you know, think before you post, and do not drink before you post. So think before you post, don't drink before you post. Those are my words of advice for you. Obviously this show supports that some of you guys have been doing the latter and not the former. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this show as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Uh, hit the like button if you like what you saw. Give me all your comments. I'd love to hear from you what you thought. And if you haven't joined us yet, please take the time to hit the subscribe button. It's right down here, this little red button you can see. So hit that, subscribe with us, and I'll see you next time around. Take care. Like the show? We'll show your support by subscribing and hitting the like button. See you later.
Bye. Bye.